This is my Cessna 180. I'm putting in new seat covers. Uh, you can see my old ones are all blown out. Interior's just gone to 1955, I guess. It's sort of like messed up. But uh, I picked up some new seats, seat covers from Sport Aircraft Seats. They're really nice looking, really nice quality. I'm going to be putting them on. I've taken my old cushions off. And this is a good time to inspect your seat as well. The AD we're all familiar with, the Cessna Seatrack AD, also gives you a dimension on the width of these here. This is an old seat, of course, really light. It's kind of nice. But sure enough, I was inspecting it and I found this tube to be cracked. Uh, I re-welded it. But uh, it's a good time. Also, take your seat. It's a good time to take your seat out and put it in your plane and make sure that it, that it runs on the tracks. So I put it in the tracks and I run it back and forth and it runs real smooth. You can take these rollers out, clean them out, re-grease them, put them back in. Measure your gap in your seat there, the track. When I first got this airplane, the seats didn't move at all. They were all gummed up in really bad shape. But here, so locks in, sits pretty tight. Maybe a roller could be changed. Probably tighten that up a little bit. But other than that, it looks real good. So on to putting the cushions on. I'm going to paint these a little bit. So I uh, bomb canned my legs, cleaned them all up. Be sure to inspect them in accordance with the AD, the gap, the thickness here. It's a good time to review that AD. It's, um, anyway, the seat track AD. 2011-09, something like that. Anyway, I'll look it up. But uh, it does give you specific dimensions. Check out your rollers. These McFarland sells new rollers, and there's a little bushing in there. Make sure it's all nice and lubricated. And uh, time to put the uh, cushion on. So I'm threading the strap through the loops. You can see them here and the nice little loop threader. This one I got to go around and behind the seat adjustment here. And then I'll come back through here, this loop, and then I'll have to go around here and then back through here. Really handy little threader he's got. I don't know how you do it without it. And it goes around here and back through here like that. Sweet. Now all I got to do is put it tight and pull it together. Now as you got the thing, see I got the webbing all put through the loops and everything. And I got my buckle connected here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And I'm just pulling the slack out. So I just kind of keep pulling the slack out and getting the tension. And then I'll take up the slack here at the end with my, my little buckle end. And slowly tighten it up. So here I've got the cushion all put on. And my webbing's tight. Got my buckle in. I just tucked the, the excess under here. And uh, look at that, man. I can't wait to sit on it. Looks really nice. Does that look good or what? A little black spray paint always helps too. Yeah, so let's do the back figure out how that works. So now I got my seat back and I got my back here 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this thing on. I think. I think that it goes like this. These go forward. Nicely Velcroed. Just a really nice seat. Real nice people to work with. You know, look at that. Slides right in. Ah, yeah. Scoot it on down. Got to get it over these little things here. Oh. We're tugging. Well, as you can see, I installed my seat. It looks great. There's the before over there, and this is the after. It's looking really good. Just a real nice seat. Comes with burn certs and everything. Um, it does raise the seat a little bit, and what you're going to find is that your yoke is going to be closer to your lap. I thought this might be a little bit of an issue. I think if you had the, lamb, uh, the ram's horns or the uh, other type of yokes that maybe grab above and give you a little bit more room, I thought it might be a little bit of an issue, but I went and flew yesterday and it flew just fine. Um, felt good. The seat is higher. Gives me a better look over the top of the dash. I don't have to pull myself up now, which is really nice. And uh, get a better look over the top of the hood. I'm definitely higher in the head towards the ceiling, but uh, really turned out nice. So I'm pretty happy. Good looking seat. Here again, sport aircraft seats. Nice installation. Got it all painted up, works like a dream. Good time to go through your seat and make sure there's nothing broken. Old seats, old airplanes, you never know. My Cessna 180. So one of the things I didn't do on my last seat, I did the pilot seat first, is I didn't put this cover on that is supplied with the seats. You can also take the springs off by undoing these and you take the whole springs off and then you take this and you glue it on to the edge like this using some contact cement. I got some 1300L here. But I kind of like having the springs on. They kind of, this spring really pushes you up a little bit, gives you a little, sits you a little higher. And um, so I'm gonna put this on and glue it on and that'll help protect the bottom of my seat uh, from having these springs wear through, which I'm not sure if they will in my lifetime anyway. But we'll try it out this way on the co-pilot side. And if I like it, maybe I'll go back and change my pilot side. But I painted it all, made sure all my wheels work, put it, the seat in, ran it back and forth, complied with the AD. And uh, one of the other things is I took the, the piece that went around here off. Now what happens then is when you bring this up, you'll have a tendency to pull this pin out of here. So I created a little stop. I put a little clevis pin in here. And when you turn, pull up on this, it actually runs into the cotter pin and keeps it from pulling up. I'm more worried about the co-pilot side because you get a passenger in there. They might pull up on that thing so hard that they pull it out. So I got it now where it stops before it comes out just by putting a little clevis pin in there and it kind of runs into the cotter pins that hold these tubes in. Just something I did. Well, you can see I put that uh, that liner in on the bottom here and it turned out pretty nice. The spring doesn't sit next to the fabric like it did on my last seat. I think that's a pretty good protective thing and I just used the 1300L and, and um, put it on. The seat looks really good. My wheels are working really good. 
let's go put it in see how it looks yeah I got both my seats in now uh, they look just bitch and look at they're just all nicely painted up I mean I don't think seats have ever looked this good in this airplane ever looks really nice uh, just planes a little rough but seats are nice yeah sport aero seats work out really well um, you know it also gives you a chance to make sure your seats are in good condition your seat track AD is working for you yeah looks real nice now all I got to do is the rest of the interior huh good luck there huh wish he made door panels could use some door panels probably a new instrument panel but other than that she's got good bones and it's a good 180 but it's sport aero seats um, nice I think well worth the price not too bad of an installation I mean uh, what do you do you need seats you gotta have seats look pretty sharp